After 12 exhausting days, the moment had arrived to approve a deal to keep global warming to one and a half degrees. Yet moments before the gavel came down, objections came up. China and India wanting to soften language on getting rid of coal. Including escalating effort to face down unabated coal power. A last minute play met by many with anger and disappointment that COP President Alok Sharma couldn't hide as he was forced to pass the deal. It's also vital that we um, protect this package. It is so decided. But a few moments later, the deal was done. OK, that's it. That's the moment with visible reluctance. Alex has just passed the Glasgow Climate Pact. Is 1.5 still alive? It's weakened, it's wounded. It's just about made it over the line. The applause was short and thin. Most of the 200 countries here had worked hard to keep a promise to phase out coal in the text, now changed to phase down. We all know that European wealth was built on coal, and if we don't get rid of coal, European death will also be built on coal. We know full well that coal has no future. On behalf of the Marshall Islands, I wish to read into the record our profound disappointment with the change in the language on coal from phase out to phase down. It could have been worse. It was a day of frantic diplomacy as the US and European allies fought to defend weak offers on finance and forests to keep developing countries at the table. But crucially, a line requiring all nations to meet again next year with better promises to cut emissions survived. And that's what keeps 1.5 just about alive. This is a fragile win. And we have kept 1.5 alive. That was our overarching objective when we set off on this journey two years ago, taking on the uh, role of the uh, COP presidency designate. But I would still say that um, the pulse of 1.5 is weak. At best, the Glasgow Climate Pact puts the world on a very uncertain path to 1.5 degrees. As for how history views it, that all depends on whether the 197 countries here stick to their promises. Tom Clark, Sky News, Glasgow.